What's up guys? Nerdy Noob here and I have an unboxing video for you. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the 2016 July Ludicu box. This is the box that ships all the way from Hong Kong. It's quite pricey, so make sure you guys take a look at it. And because it ships from Hong Kong, the pricing is based off of the Hong Kong currency, which I don't know what that's called. So make sure you guys do a conversion rate because the prices will change. I try to put the prices when I got the box, like what around what it is when I got it, but you know, rates change all the time. So make sure you guys look at that carefully, and I would suggest doing one of those like currency converter so you can see how much the box currently costs right now with the rates of the dollar and all that stuff. If you're interested in getting this box, I'll put everything down below, pricing details, link, all that fun stuff. Once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. Oh, you're gonna see bubble wrap. All right, let's remove this bubble tape. Oh, this looks like an anime theme box, which is gonna go great. Actually, it's gonna be good for you guys because you guys like anime stuff. I'm not a huge fan of anime stuff, but that just means better items in the giveaway slash for sale box. Here we go, the first time that we have. Oh, you guys are gonna love this. So this is a Dragon Ball Z thing, and it, it's of Goku. I think that's Goku, right? I don't know what this is, but I'm going to assume that it is some kind of figure. It says, Master Star's Peace, the Gotenks. The Go Tanks. Should I open it? I don't want to open it because I'm definitely not going to keep this, but I'll go ahead and open it to show you guys. Oh, it's something I have to like put together. So it comes in this package. Ugh, I really don't want to put this together. Can I just show you the body? No, I'll put it together. I'll put it together. I feel bad because I'm totally not going to keep this. They definitely take a lot of time to wrap the different pieces. Ow, it's really hard to push his head on because his hair is like super spiky. It actually hurts really bad. Ow. I don't know what this black thing is that they gave us. There's no instructions. I, was I supposed to put this on his neck? I don't think so. I think it goes on the back of his shoe to help him stand up, I suppose. Okay, so here he is. So it came in two different pieces, his head and then his body. And then it came with this black thing, which I feel like you put near his foot. Yeah, like that. I guess that helps him stand up. So you clip that black thing to his foot and I think it helps him stand up. Whoa, whoa. So this is actually kind of neat. I wish I liked Goku and Dragon Ball Z more than I do, but this figure has a lot of really, really great details to it, which I like. Let's look at his six pack. There's his six pack. Boom, right there, working hard. Uh, this is quite a big box for the size of the figure. They could have just made the box way smaller, but pretty cool item, I must say. Uh, the next item we have is uh, the hat that he wears. I think, or it's, this is his symbol. I don't know if he wears a hat. It's not like Ash or anything like that, but this is a hat that has the symbol from, I don't know if it's from Dragon Ball Z or if it's from Goku. I think this is Goku's symbol specifically. There's the Dragon Ball Z emblem on the back right there for you. And this is a... Um, adjustable hat so one size fits all. The next item we have is, oh it's a Dragon Ball! It's a Dragon Ball keychain! I actually like this. So this is the one thing that I was getting, I was getting so many Dragon Balls one month, just different like different things, keychains and bouncy balls and stress balls. So this is actually really cool and I think I might keep this. This is a Dragon Ball. It's a one star Dragon Ball because I know they have different numbers but this one just has one star and then it's a keychain. I enjoy this product a lot. Oh, I like this a lot. Oh. The next thing that we got is a mystery mini, and it's from Shonen Jump, the world's most popular, is it manga or manga? I don't know. Oh, okay. So this has characters from all of the mainstream, like, series, because there's something from Dragon Ball Z, and then there's One Piece, and Ner Naruto, and Bleach, and Death Note. So those are, like, the different ones. I am, should we open it? I don't want to open this because I know I'm not going to like it. I guess I'll open it and then I'll just send it to somebody in like a giveaway box or something. Somebody who likes anime. Okay. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. We got this little bear thing. I feel like that's the worst one because it's like the smallest one. I don't know what this is. Oh, this, I mean, this is probably from Bleach. So it's this little like lion bear thing. I think that's a lion. It looks like a lion. But it also looks like a bear and it kind of looks like a cat. 
I would, let me just tell you guys, I would feel so ripped off if I bought this at the store. And this is the, I feel like I'm gonna get, feel like this when I open up the Harry Potter ones because I know they have little animals. But this thing is so small. Like this thing is so little compared to what these usually are. This is teeny. I feel ripped off that this is the one that we got. Ugh. This is like one that you could get in the candy machine for a dollar. I like him though. I just feel like they should have made him bigger or something so that I felt like I was getting my money's worth. All right. Oh, I like these. So this is a mug. And the reason I like it is because it's one of those heat activated ones. So this is, I'm confused. Is this Goku? This must not be Goku. Is it Goku? I don't know. This is Goku with the blonde hair, right? This guy doesn't have blonde hair. I don't know. What do they call it? Gotenks? The Gotenks? I don't know anything about Dragon Ball Z except for Dragon Balls. So the reason I like this is because this is a heat activated mug. So this is what it looks like regularly, but once you put hot liquid in it, it's going to change. Now, um, this is one of the designs, but I don't think we got this one. But I think we got this one. So you have Goku, and then when you put something hot, the yellow background goes around it. I don't know if, let's see. So it has both of the emblems. So this is one side, and then once you put hot liquid in it, it changes to this, like Goku breaking out. And then on this side, it's the Goku. And then when you put hot liquid in it, then the yellow background pops out. I actually enjoy this a lot. I, I love the heat changing mugs. They're so cool. Okay, and then the last time in the box is this little figure of Vegeta. I've received one of these before, I think. Um, it comes with a stand and then different types of hands. So you can like change his pose. But this is Vegeta. I'm not going to open this. So it's just like a little box. Whoa. Okay. So that's all the items. Let's go ahead and do a quick recap. Remember, their card is now very, very informative. And they also give you the pricing that they paid. So I'll give you all of that stuff. So for the figure. So you could have gotten one of two. Receive a random one of either. So you either got Super Saiyan 2 or the newly released Go Tanks from Dragon Ball Super. So we got the Go Tanks. The other one looked like this. So that wasn't Goku, that's just a Go Tank. So then we got the second item was our Dragon Ball keychain, and you could have gotten any of the numbers one through seven. We got one. Should I read some of these descriptions for that figure? It says, it's the 30th anniversary of Dragon Ball Z. The 30th anniversary, really? 30th anniversary? It, Dragon Ball Z is older than I am. That's crazy. I didn't realize. And we celebrate all the awesomeness it has brought us with a set of Master Stars piece figures. So, yes. So that's that. The ball is, it just tells you what Dragon Balls are used for. Shenron can be summoned by gathering all seven of the Dragon Balls of Earth. Shenron dwells in a raging fire deep inside the Earth's core when the Dragon Balls are currently not being used. All right. And then we got our Goku and Majin Vega. Vegeta, Vegeta heat changing mug. So you could have either gotten the Goku one or the Vegeta. The Vegeta is very similar except for it says instead of Goku it says Vegeta and then it has a picture of him. I don't know if I'm saying that right. The next item that we got, oh sorry, that's a heat changing, not dishwasher safe, hand wash only. Then we got our little action trading figure. And you could have, they're called 66 action because it stands 66 millimeters tall and it combines mobility and high quality molding into a fun action figure. You could have either gotten Goku, Gohan, Vegeta, or Trunks. So I got Vegeta. Um, and then we got our Dragon Ball Z Goku cap. Uh, he wears a variety of different symbols on his uniform during the show. The first symbol he wears is pronounced came and means turtle. It represents his training with Master Yoshi, who is the turtle hermit. There's a second symbol that is pronounced Kao meaning the world king. The two layers fit in the, around the patch that Goku wears. Later he changes the symbol to pronounce Go, which is Goku's own kanji. Okay, well that's a little bit of history about his symbol. And then the last item we got is our best of anime Funko Mystery Mini. And you could have either gotten Luffy from One Piece, Chopper from One Piece, Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z, Goku or Piccolo from Dragon Ball Z, Naruto from Naruto, Sasuke from Naruto, Light, Death Note, L, Death Note, Ryuk, Death Note, Ichigo, 
bleach or con bleach. So I either got, I think I either got Ichigo or con, I think. But I got the thing that looks like a cat, lion, and bear put together in one. Now, the pricing that they give. So first of all, this is for July 2016, and it was the Dragon Ball 30th anniversary. That was the theme this month. Here's the value that they gave us, and then we'll do our own value. The Master Stars figure, they gave us or they said that this was worth $30. This is all US dollars, so $30. The preview exclusive mug, they gave this $17. The Goku cap, they gave it $15. The Dragon Ball keychain, they gave $10. The 66 action figure, they gave $10. And the mystery mini, they gave $8. So under their estimation, this box is worth $90. Now remember, this box is quite expensive. I think it's like $66 a month. That's including shipping, I want to say. So that's the pricing they gave. So if you just want MSRP pricing, then there you go. Let's go ahead and do our pricing or my pricing to see what it looks like. So I actually think they priced the hat fairly well. I would probably, instead of 15, I'd probably just give that 12 because I think that they probably made it. It doesn't look like it, it's like any kind of licensed hat. So the hat gets 12. The mug, I'm going to give that 10 because I found heat changing mugs that are licensed online for $10. Maybe not specifically uh, Dragon Ball Z, but I literally have lost my phone like 20 times today. It's starting to get frustrating because I don't understand. It's not like I even move from my bed. Okay, changed my mind. I'm gonna give the mug a little bit extra money. So what do we start with? The cap, I'm gonna give 12. The mug, I'm gonna go ahead and give 12 because that looks like about how much it costs for a Dragon Ball Z mug. So here's the next funny thing. So they said that their Dragon Ball keychain was valued at $10, which I think is extremely high. I went on Amazon and it looks like you can get this exact same set of, it's like exactly the same, but you get the entire set for $10. That's prime. I know it's kind of bright, you can't see it, but that's $10. So I'm going to say that that is really highly priced. I'm gonna give this keychain $3 because that's how much you usually give keychains. I don't think it's any more and I think it's actually cheaper than that. This figure, they say 30, I'm gonna give it 25. I think you can get that for about 25 online. The, what else do we have? The mystery mini, I'm gonna go ahead and give that six. I've changed my mind for mystery minis. That's gonna be $6 because that's how much it costs at Target. And that's about the same price that it costs everywhere. It's like $5.95. And then this little figure, I think that they were kind of on the spot. It's about $10. So that was true to pricing. Is that everything? Okay, so according to my pricing, this box is worth $68. Specifically, if you're in America, this box costs $65.65, which is, we'll say $66. So, based off my pricing, you get your value plus two extra dollars, which that's been the case for this box for the most part, is that you basically just get your value, sometimes a teeny bit more, sometimes a teeny bit less, um, depending on, I think, where you live and how accessible this stuff is to you. A lot of this stuff is on Amazon for Prime, so I could get it for free shipping here, but it just depends on where you are and everything. I actually really Really like I like the items that this box gives because I love the figures that they give us like they gave us that one what was it like that dragon bobblehead thing from um, Avengers that I really like and it introduced me to a new series that I didn't know that was around and existed uh, and I need to still get that Hawkeye one so I do like that I'm not a huge you guys know I'm not a huge fan of Dragon Ball Z but I know a lot of you guys are so I'm excited to actually keep a lot of this stuff and use it for my giveaways specifically because I feel like a lot of you guys are gonna love all of this stuff I do like the variety and the mixture of items that they give us with the mug and the keychain and the hat it's like it's kind of all across the board which is really nice and I think they gave us a good amount of little figures like they have the mini figure the the mini mystery the other mini figure and then the bigger figure so I like that because I like figures. I think figures hold a lot of value, so I'm a fan of that. Um, if I had to rate this box, you know, it sucks because, again, I'm not a Dragon Ball Z fan, so it's not going to be as high for me. I would probably give this box a 3.5 out of 5 noobs, and it's strictly, like, I like the types of items, but I don't connect with Dragon Ball Z, and I think the value is still lacking there, so those are the two things that I would prefer to have if I had to, like, you know, to make it better for me is that... I don't know if you can make it better for me specifically because of the theme of the box, but I would want, it would be a four if I could get more value for the money.
for how much the box costs. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you wanna see more unboxing videos, go check out my channel, I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. If you're a Dragon Ball Z fan, what did you think? And honestly, like, you probably love the items, but what did you think about the items versus the value of the items and how much this box costs? Like, do you think it's worth it, or would you rather just go online and buy your own Dragon Ball Z things? Let me know what you thought about it. And I just wanted, to, this is the quick disclaimer for those of you who are gonna say, what? You don't like Dragon Ball Z? What the heck? I can't believe you. These boxes have different themes every month. If this was specifically a Dragon Ball Z box, I would not buy it. But this month's theme just happened to be Dragon Ball Z, and I do not pause or cancel. Like, I don't stop sub boxes because I don't like the theme. I, I don't think that's fair to you guys. Um, so I, I get every box. Like, if I order this box, Ludicu, and the theme next month is Super Mario Brothers, and the theme after that is Game of Thrones, which I think it has been in the past, I don't stop the box. I just have it. Now, if it was a specific box towards Dragon Ball Z, I wouldn't have it on my channel. Like, if this was, if every month we got Dragon Ball Z items, I wouldn't have this box on my channel because I'm just not into that. You know, I've had the Ninja Turtle one. Like, I've had boxes that are specific to certain things that I like. But I would never order a box that was specific to a theme that I didn't like where it was just that you know Sometimes I do it if it's a special edition box and it's a one-time box But I don't usually do it if it's a reoccurring box a good example is the firefly box that Loot Crate has It's not a box that I plan to subscribe to same thing with the horror block from nerd block I I'm not into horror themed things So I don't want to get a box that's horror based because I know I'm really just not gonna like it But for it, this being Dragon Ball Z. I don't mind it actually and I like the items in it I just you know, I'm just not a huge fan of Dragon Ball Z. But let me know what you thought about this box. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my Thank You to Subscribers page, which is coming up right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!